Hello students, the most awaited notification or clarification or the announcement whatever you call among the CA student community by ICA has come out that is the transition from the old scheme to new scheme under CA education course. What are the exemptions which are available for the students under new scheme either the group wise or paper wise is now out in our ICA website through an announcement which is released today 24th August 2023. So in this announcement my dear friends the key points are regarding CA final paper wise exemptions and for CA intermediate paper wise exemptions come group wise exemptions we are going to deal or we are going to see in this announcement. So number one. CA final paper wise as exemptions. If you see the very very interesting point here is obviously it is like if you are getting exemption in CA final FR paper in this November 2023 exams obviously you need not write financial reporting paper 1 in CA final May 2024 exam and so on so forth the same thing applies for the remaining papers. But the interesting thing is as we have seen paper 4 and paper 5 has been made as self paced modules under the new scheme. If you are getting exemptions from these papers paper 4 and paper 5 that is corporate and economic loss and strategic cost management and performance evaluation you are exempted from going through this self paced modules. And not only this one very interesting exemption here given by CA Institute is if by any chance you are scoring exemption that is 60 or more than 60 in paper 6 elective paper CA institute is also exempting you from the new scheme paper 6 that is integrated business solutions which is really a very big boon for CA final students so which nobody has expected. So the CA institute has come up with this interesting announcement you get exemption in paper number 6 elective paper under old scheme. Under new scheme you need not write paper 6 integrated business solutions. This is something really very interesting for CA final students. So coming to CA final this is the only announcement which is really interesting and obviously if you are clearing CA final group 1 under old scheme. Under new scheme you need not go for self paced online module for corporate and economic loss and you should write the balance group 2. Same way by any chance if you are clearing group 2 under old scheme you need not go with the self paced online module for SCMP and you should write the new scheme group 1. This is fine. The real twist or the real excited news is for CA intermediate students. For CA intermediate students if you see there are two interesting announcements one is paper wise exemption the other is group wise exemption my dear friends. Coming to paper wise exemptions. If the CA intermediate student who is writing in November 2023 exam has secured exemptions in any paper and is not able to clear the group or anything that way, they are exempted from which papers in May 2024 under new scheme. So here the interesting thing is if the CA inter student getting exemption in paper 1 or paper 5 under the old scheme in this November 2023 exam such CA intermediate student is exempted from paper 1 in the new scheme that is you claim exemption in either paper 1 or paper 5 in the current scheme in November 2023 exams of CA intermediate you are exempted from writing paper 1 advanced accounting under the new scheme in May 2024. The same way by any chance you are getting exemption from paper to corporate and other laws obviously in new scheme you need not write same paper to and you are getting exemption in paper 3 cost and management accounting you need not write paper 4 in new scheme and if you are getting ex exemption in paper 4 taxation in old scheme paper 3 new scheme taxation you are exempted from writing. And obviously auditing assurance paper 6 if you are getting exemption in old scheme. Paper 5 auditing and ethics in new scheme you are exempted from writing. 
these things are fine the another interesting news in this announcement is by any chance you get exemption in paper 7 or paper 8 paper 7 or paper 8 under the old scheme you need not write paper 6 in the new scheme and if you see the combination in the old scheme FM and economics is one set and EIS and SM is the other set but in new scheme FM and strategic management SM are one set one single paper so the interesting news for the CA intermediate students is you either get exemption in paper number 7 or paper number 8 in old scheme you are exempted from writing paper number 6 in the new scheme isn't it interesting my dear friends yes it is so apart from paper wise exemptions my dear CA intermediate students you have got one more great news that is group wise exemption group wise exemption so those who are writing this CA intermediate exam this November 2023 under new scheme my dear friends if you are clearing your group 1 if you are clearing your group 1 in your CA intermediate examination that is you are clearing paper 1 accounting paper 2 business law paper 3 costing paper 4 taxation if you are clearing this entire group under the new scheme you should write only two papers paper 5 and paper 6 that is auditing and ethics and financial management and strategic management that means you are supposed to write only two papers in the new scheme if you clear your first group in this current November 2023 exams under the old scheme the very 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 interesting news and big news for CA intermediate students who are going for this November 2023 exams and if you are clearing your group 2 of this intermediate in this November 2023 exam obviously see in this upcoming May 2024 exams under new scheme you are supposed to write three papers one is paper 2 law corporate and other laws paper 3 taxation and in group 2 paper 4 cost and management accounting this is something again interesting for you so anybody planning their preparation and clearing their group 1 of ca intermediate in this november 2023 exams they will be writing only two papers in upcoming may 2024 exams that is auditing fm and strategic management sm anybody clearing group 2 in this current upcoming november 23 examination are supposed to write three papers in their next upcoming exam that is two papers from group 1 one paper from group 2 that is something very interesting that means technically you are writing both the groups so paper 2 law paper 3 taxation paper 4 costing you are supposed to write in your new scheme so isn't it interesting announcement my dear friends so let us know what are your comments on this below and also any other queries please let us know us through the comment box thank you everyone